live at the NABC. It's 2017. It just seems like it was yesterday that I was broadcasting live from the NABC when was when it was last year, the first week in uh, in October. We're already to October this year, and I just want to say hi to everybody out there. I want to say hi to all the volunteers, pond chatters, everybody that's watching, all the the guests and customers that are out there. We're going to have really kind of a fun time this year. Live at the NABC this year is going to be brought to you inside. Uh, currently, we do have business going on. We've got a crowd behind us, and uh, they're walking around. They're getting ready to do a behind-the-scenes tour, which is kind of fun. But our Live at the NABC this year is going to uh, kind of be fun. We're going to have a little bit of fun with Sharon Harrell, our bear curator. She's going to be doing the Curator's Corner uh, starting next week. So we want to make sure that everybody out there in the uh, World Wide Web knows that the next three Wednesdays, uh, during the month of October, we're going to be broadcasting live at 1 o'clock uh, Central Time. And that is, of course, uh, an exciting time for us because leaves are changing up here. Weather's been real interesting with rain. I'm sure everybody across the country has experienced some rather interesting. You just can't describe in words what is going on in probably all the families and friends and everybody that's touched in their heads. Our flag here at the North American Bear Center is currently at half staff, as was... Uh, uh, required for us to do, and we want to make sure that we are following that uh, procedure. But again, uh, we're going to have some fun time on a, on a good note this year with uh, Live at the NABC, but we're going to do it while business is going on. So we got folks in here that are visiting today, and we want to say hi to them. We've got our two fall interns, which is our first uh, time we've had fall interns this year. And uh, we got a good program going on with uh, Judy and Sharon that have our intern program has really taken off with those two and our behind the scenes tours have turned out wonderful. For those of you that have never been at the Bear Center, you get to get a look at part of our camping exhibit with Camping for Bears. You can also see out to our viewing, part of our viewing window areas right out uh, just behind me here. You can see John, our intern over there. John, take a wave, would you? That's John, our intern. He's going to wave. John, where are you from again? Omaha, Nebraska is where John's from. We're going to bring him uh, just up closer and say hi real quick. John, you want to say hi to the World Wide Web crowd? Hey, um, John, I'm very happy to be here. I'm, it's great to see you guys, or at least you can see me. I'm very happy here at the North American Bear Center, having a lot of fun, learning a lot of great stuff, and I'm working with a lot of great people. Wonderful. How about the bears? They're doing great, too. <laughs> They really like to hear about the bears. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all doing great. Um, Holly's getting ready to den down. She isn't staying. John, you can't steal Sharon's thunder. Oh. Uh, well, then what can I tell about the bears? You like being with them? Oh, yeah, I love being with the bears. They're a lot of fun. They're all, everyone always asks me which bear is my favorite. I don't have a favorite bear because they all give me grief on different days. But they're all a lot of fun every day. Well, anyway, we thank you, John. I know you got a behind-the-scenes tour that's going to be kicking off here in a minute. Thanks for pulling over here. I like to do that impromptu stuff just to have a little bit of fun with them and catch them off guard. That's kind of the way I do things sometimes. But you can plainly see that uh, we don't do that kind of stuff here at the Bear Center. We make sure that we're making good decisions. And coming up here in not more than, oh, I want to say a little over roughly 45 days or so, I want you to save a date. That date is Give to the Max Day. That will be on November 16th. Again, we're going to be here at about, uh, oh, I want to say 10:30, 11 o'clock on the 15th. And we're going to, from that point on, be broadcasting to about 1 a.m. on the 16th. That's Central Ely time. And we're looking forward to a wonderful fundraiser. We always have fun with it. And we'll be looking for all you out there. So save that date, please. We need all your help. And as everybody out there knows, our number one uh, way of earning funds is the customers that walk through the door and donations. That's the only ways we can earn a fund. But right now, I'm going to bring uh, Sharon Harrell over, our bear curator. She's coming. She's got those legs going. She's getting over here. I'm, I'm also pretty excited as Sharon gets over here to tell you that I think that maybe I could say this. Do you think I could say this? Hey, Sharon, how you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? <laughs> Good. Do you think we can say that we think, let's slide over here a little bit, that we think that maybe our camera and our voice system is going to work good this time? It looks like we're going to have a fantastic season with this particular unit, yes. 
our uh, local company, uh, Ely Custom Theaters, has uh, helped us out here. Custom Theaters of Ely, I should say. We've got to get that politically correct. Um, <laughs> he's prompting us from behind. <laughs> pointing to his shoulders, he's wearing his shirt. But uh, he's actually got this all set up, set up and we've uh, tested it. And we believe that our lips are moving in sequence with our voice. Isn't that pretty cool? Yes, and if it's not, I'm sure you'll let us know. <laughs> well, I haven't felt any, uh, any buzzes on my phone in my pocket from behind, so I think we're doing pretty good. And I know that there's the Kathy's out there and Marge's and Ribs, and I can keep going on and on. I'm sorry if I missed your names that are watching right now and making sure that we're doing this right. So I want to say hi to everybody out there, don't you? Yep. Hi, guys. I'm glad you keep us informed. Yes, and please keep doing that. That's really good. I mean, uh, our camera system here, yeah, we may not have the amount of cameras that everybody's looking for at this point in time, but we're working on that because we do not want to introduce anything that is not working properly. It's a lot more complex than anybody would think, but we're getting there, and I really do uh, mean this time we're getting there. Uh, I think we're going to see down the road some extreme stability. The only thing we can't take out of the equation is, is Ely. And the power. And the weather. And the weather. And? And anything. And, and. and. <laughs> but, I mean, other, the other things as far as equipment goes and everything else, we're getting there. Um, we are excited about being able to broadcast and not have to worry. The reason why we're not doing it outside this year is because two reasons. First one is weather. Second one is we want to make sure that our bears have as much free time to walk around as they can. Uh, Sharon, I'm going to get let you talk about the Bears here, if you would, and kind of just talk about the programs that you're looking forward to having uh, the next few Wednesdays. Okay? Well, good afternoon, and um, we're so happy that uh, whoever is listening to us, and I hope you have told your friends and your friends and your friends to all uh, listen in. First of all, the Bears are doing well. Um, Ted's coat is coming in very, very nice and fast now. Um, if you were looking this morning, you see that he fell asleep in his food bowl. Um, someone, uh, I think uh, uh, Christina <laughs> sent me a picture of Ted sleeping in his food bowl because he fell asleep in it with his head uh, in the, his food dish. So that, that kind of gives you an example of how slow the bears have gotten here. Lucky, um, although he is currently out in the front and entertaining some guests that are here, um, he has also slowed down. And there's times when he just sits up on top of the bunker and says, now you go down and entertain them. I'm just going to lay right here. Um, Holly has uh, not hung her um, do not disturb sign out yet. Pretty darn close, though. And little Tasha, well, we know she's um, in a dug den. We're just not sure where. Um, I just looked before I came um, in here. And there's no evidence of her being in the regular dug den. There's no ground matter in there. It's all dirt. And as you know, last year she decorated quite nicely in there. So um, we're going to start looking and see where she might be um, sleeping at night. So what's coming up in the, in the next couple of weeks? We have some tributes um, and some other things for our volunteers. I asked our uh, volunteers, that, our bear educators that were here over the weekend and through September to just write um, how they felt about what, what it means to them to be a bear educator. So they did, and um, I will be reading some of those testimonials uh, next week. And also, I, I have asked um, our moderators, and Kathy and Marge in particular, to post any type of question that you want to ask, not only about the bears, but if the bears could answer a question for you, what that question might be. So this should be interesting. I've read some of them, and, and no, I'm sorry, England, you cannot sleep with Ted. Um, that's just not going to happen. And then um, we're going to do some, a couple other things and then wrap it up at the end. So I'm hoping that you continue to stay with us because it's going to be a fun couple of weeks here. Back to Scott. Well, thank you, Sharon. I know that we're working on a lot of things. In fact, today I'm picking up straw uh, tonight. I haven't been able to pick it up uh, any earlier in this because of the weather we've had. We've, had, we've, we've just had um, 
not a little bit of rain, but inches of rain, and not for just an hour, but usually overnight into the morning, then again in the afternoon. So it hasn't been very good to pick up dry, and we don't want to give our bears wet straw. Yeah, so I'll be picking that up uh, this afternoon and getting some bales of straw here, and then we get to have a little bit of fun with that, right? We get to spread it in the dens? Well, we put it in the dens and let the bears do whatever they want with it. So we'll see, you know, Lucky and Holly both love to rake, but uh, Lucky or Holly, it'll probably take her a good hour to rake because she's so slow right now. And uh, it, it's a lot of fun to watch her because it's almost like she's robotic and her batteries are dying. Well, I guess, uh, you know, watch, watching them go through these transitions from when they first come out, they're walking slow. When they first come out in the spring, they're walking slow. Then they pick up to their normal pace, and all of a sudden they all go wild, is my description. And they go into hyperphagia, where they really go into an eating frenzy. And then from that point on, they actually get to the point where they're hard to control as far as getting down in front of the customers. And, and uh, our guests like to see the bears. You guys like to see the bears. You like to see them out front by the um, PTZ on the uh, waterfall area, the pond area. But boy, it gets tough. I mean, it really does get hard. So therefore, we a lot of times have to do even more behind the scenes tours than we did before, correct? That's correct. And then, and sometimes you've even, even seen us do some of the broadcast back by Ted just because we know we're not going to get a bear down. So uh, one of the other things, um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Doggone it. I'll think of it. I never do that. I never forget what I'm going to say. So... Um, I'm getting a motion that somebody's either doing a commercial for batteries or they're uh, trying to show me one. I'm not sure what it is. Is our battery bad in this? What's that? Our battery's getting bad. Um, I don't know why this stuff happens always during broadcasts. He said they got plenty of time right now. Oh, Sharon must have remembered what she was going to say. I just wanted to say um, through the summer we talked about all the transitions that bears go through. And when our interns come, of course, they're just coming off out of walking hibernation, and then they go into their regular summer schedule. And we kept talking about, well, pretty soon it'll be fall transition, and you won't believe the change in our bears. Their nice flat coats get fluffy and fluffy and fluffy, and they start gaining a lot of weight. And so this year we had several of our interns that were summer and past um, summer interns come back, and they couldn't believe the transition that the bears make in late September and even more into October. So if you have a chance to ever visit both fall and summer, it's pretty neat to uh, see how our bears transition and are very, very normal, and the activity is running around and climbing and having fun, to I can't hardly move. So um, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Also, their coats get a lot more uh, fluffier in the fall. Well, they had a lot of good food this year, and uh, I'll get, I got to tell you, normally I safety check the food once in a while to make sure that the fruit's good and stuff like that. But this year, even though it may not look like it, I haven't got out there very much to do that. Uh, I've been so into the chocolate and such that we've had in the office. But uh, I think that even we as folks kind of go into a little bit of a hyperphagia mode when it's coming to winter up here, and, and your, your hunger goes up a little bit too. Is that true, or is that just me? It might be just you. <laughs> I guess it's just me. But, you know, I, I mean, some exciting things have been going on at the Bear Center in this, uh, this last season. We, for the first time, seen our groups exceed 40. 40 uh, groups, above 40 groups this year. That's phenomenal. Huge groups, and um, just so thankful that we're here and gave them the not only um, to see our bears, but the education uh, portion of what they learned here. They just thanked us and thanked us many times. Yeah, and I, I get it. And it's so much. It's so fun to watch the process that we're working on right now with our bear educators that are out there. All our volunteers. I mean, our bear educators that were here at the uh, center helped out immensely. We want to say a big thank you to all those bear educators out there. In fact, we got a couple of them on their way home right now to Washington, uh, hoping that they're watching, but probably not. They're probably driving still, don't you think? Well, they were driving. They were going to start driving again this morning, and I did. If, Bob, you're listening, those balsam branches really do work well. <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping that you enjoyed uh, one of the new enrichments that we have, which is the trolley with the food uh, shelf on it to the cedar tree, where we call it the Pat's tree. 
And then we've got the new tree that we just got put up that was, uh, it, it's extremely expensive to plant a tree nowadays. But we did get that tree with all that cement planted, and I think we named that tree, didn't we? We did, and um, just a tribute to our beautiful honey bear, that's what we named it. We named it the what? The honey tree. So it's named the honey tree, so we got the Pat's tree and the honey tree now, right? Yep. Yes, and, and just for um, some of the viewers or some of the folks listening out there, the pulley system is actually, um, lucky the Pat tree is actually, the pulley system there is the Robert pulley. Well, I didn't know that. I'm finding this one out right now. It's a Robert pulley. I'm trying to figure that one out. I swore I put that up. <laughs> I don't want it the Scott pulley, though. You can be the Scott pulley. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But, uh, you know, just, just I, I hope it's been fun for you guys to watch that. It's really an amazing thing to watch those bears. I mean, Lucky, go up and down that tree with ease. I mean, he is all fired up about getting the food, was he not? Yes, and, and some people that are here are just in awe that, Wow, he's so big, I bet he can't climb that tree. And Lucky with one jump is up there and, you know, two scoots up. He's got the trolley, the feeder, he's got it down, and then he does the fireman thing. He comes down and lands on his butt. Well, it, it, is, it is fun to watch, and I think that the honey tree is going to provide more entertainment because it's going to be higher, much higher up. And, and Lucky will probably be the first in that, and I hope Holly and Tasha eventually gets to climb too. So we'll see how that goes. Well, right now I'm in, uh, in, in a mode of making the new uh, platform for the feeder. You've got to make that platform real sturdy because, as you can see with Holly, she uh, went up there, hung on it, and drug it down. And if that feeder tray wouldn't have been built sturdy, she would have definitely wrecked it without meaning to. But I think that uh, I'm somewhat starting to understand Holly, and I'm getting close to... Uh, I don't want to say beating her because it's a little bit early, <laughs> but, but at least I'm feeling like I'm even on that, uh, that stage. What do you think? Well, I think even is a good word, but let's not, let's not vote her out yet of winning. Oh, I'll never do that. She's a bear. <laughs> so, and I, I, I can tell you right now that every time I do something, she gives me that side look with that curly nose. I think she learned that from honey. Where she curls her nose, you think she could have? Could have, yeah. I mean, she really does do that, don't she? She has some similar attributes right now of our honey. Yeah, and that's another bear that I, uh, that I still miss and always will miss, uh, even though I only knew her a short period of time. That bear was the, the sweetheart of our bears in an odd way. Um, go ahead. <laughs> there's, a, there's a cute story, um, and, and I may have shared it with a few of you, but not all of you. When Scott first started here, I said, there's one bear that you really have to make friends with because she's going to be, so to speak, the hardest nut to crack, and that's Honey because she's never had a lot of men around her, at least not here, that she would tolerate. So Scott made it a, a practice of going out to feed Honey her dinner. And when we were doing bag dinners, which, of course, we still do, he put, specifically, he put Honey's name on it, and I told him, I said, you do know she can't read. And it was just a big joke, but it was kind of cute that he put it in bold letters, like she would know it was hers. Well, it's all fun, but uh, again, I want to thank Cindy out there. You know who you are, Cindy. Thank you for raising two very great bears. You've done a great job. And I didn't get to talk to you much again when you were just visiting here last week, but hello out there if you're watching. And uh, those, those two bears, Ted and Honey, have just been joys. And Holly and Holly Lucky and that little Tasha's a joy too. But anyway, we're going to move on from the bears uh, just for a, for a short period of time here. Uh, we don't have a lot of time left. We've been going pretty long, and I'm getting shown that the battery could be starting to go dead. And the last thing I want to do is fail you guys on a great system. But uh, right now, as far as coming live, I'm hoping everybody out there is enjoying this. We are open. We've got guests here. Um, we've got a guest uh, that's looking at our polar bear right now, if she don't mind me mentioning her. And uh, it's, it's really kind of interesting to see the fun that uh, we're having with this season. And we're also going to be taking a few questions out there, aren't we, Sharon, in coming weeks? Yes, and um, they're already posted, so you can go on Bear Chat uh, Picture Place or the North American Bear Center site and read the questions. And if you have a question that you'd like to know, um, pose us a question. Or if you have something you want to hear from the bears. 
I'll try to answer it for you. Yes, and then the last thing I want to talk about real quick, and I'm going to go over it fast, is for years we've been uh, had the privilege of doing business with Eric uh, out in, I think it's uh, Massachusetts, is it? Maine, Maine area, and uh, with his web uh, design and web stuff. And we will be now moving to a local uh, webmaster in Virginia, Minnesota. So we're going to be, uh, in a few weeks here to a month or so, or maybe a little bit longer, we're going to be actually talking about possibly a new website, which will be kind of an exciting adventure, don't you think? I th <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's great, and I also get my own page, so keep, keep, keep tuned in. So that all sounds like fun. So we got some things moving forward. The other thing that we're going to be moving forward this year is our cub room on the off season as we close down. So the cub room will be growing and changing. Uh, we'll talk about that more at Give to the Max Day, which is the date you got to save is the 16th. So I'm um, sure you probably got to move over this way a little bit. But um, the 16th of November is save the date. So again, we want to say thank you so much out there for tuning in today on the World Wide Web. We want to say hi to everybody out there, and we want to recognize all of our volunteers. We want to recognize all the new folks that are watching that maybe visited this uh, summer or in the past summers. And we want to say hi to our volunteers, hi to our interns. And thank you so much, your bear educators, interns, volunteers. You all make us rock here. And I want to thank the staff that works here every day hard, the cashiers, the the uh, office staff, the manager, Heidi. I want to just thank everybody that's done such a great job and all of our um, contractors that have helped us out too to get where we're at today. Only going to grow, only going to grow. It's forward and futuristic. It's all going to be great in the next 2018, so keep tuned for us, folks. Thank you, and you have a great day. Bye now.